All right, Dio, what snacks do you need again? Nuts. What's wrong, Dio? I said nuts. I need some nuts. Dio, don't you absolutely hate cashews in that shit? I mean the metal part nuts. Oh, okay. I think I know where to find it. Alright, let's check out. Buying some shit today. Great decision. Let me scan your merchandise. Now all you have to do is pay 9,180,000 to Dark credits and you'll be home free. Okay, let me get my wallet. So you want the 9,180,000 generic land credit? Yes, sir. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Holy shit! This dick wants us to pay extra! I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean? You're trying to get a lot of extra out of us, so you can use the money to live your fancy schmancy lifestyle sitting in the fucking mansion, made of solid gold doing literally nothing, but sitting on your fat ass watching the Manchester United soccer game while drinking 50 pints of beer and a million pounds worth of tea, you monocle wearing wanker. The lady needs someone to never snap at anyone. Except once we tear sync people on DNH white girls. Let's keep our cuckoo. Also, I feel I have every right to snap at someone when they are literally trying to get money off people by exaggerating grocery store prices. Well, now I think of it, could have been a computer error. You look at that top hat bastard again. Listen, Mr. Top Hat Guy, my buddy is really sorry for how he overreacted and everything. That's okay. Well, I'm on my break. I thought that I would tell you and your temper tantrum throwing gray gay guy that the amount of goods for us has plummeted below the nether regions. For our little business to function, we have to sell our goods at these certain prices. If it was cheap, everything would be gone in an instant. Do you understand, mate? Did he just call Blade Gray? I mean, didn't he just accept his apology? And uh, never mind, whatever. Also, just curious, will the Metal Nut Riddle be affected? Yes. Why wouldn't it be? You know, Dio, if we're really concerned about this inflation thingy, why don't we contact the source, you know, the present generic land, Mr. Monkey. Wait, I think Mr. Monkey's really busy right now. Well, judging by my understanding, Genericland has a population less than the Vatican. I definitely think he can make some time to meet with us eventually. Glad you guys came over. I was thinking about making a whole speech on this ordeal. So, what questions do you guys have? Well, shit. Hold on, boys. My assistant's calling me. Yes? President, you gotta see this. Oh god damn it, I'm trying to talk to these poor stress kitties about the economy after begging me to make some time for about a week. But, but, but this is an emergency, sir. Please, sir, this is important. You need to see this. Uh, do you need help learning how to use the gas stove again? Oh, whatever, I'll be right there. Be right back, kitties. Gotta run to see something. In the meantime, why don't you boys enjoy some Family Guy Hulu with ads? da 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 you know, what well, was just reminds me of the time when- Oh, Bob! Sales and Deals event is ending soon! Oh, really? Right, what is it? Sir, I've just discovered an existential threat regarding the inflation. Oh, no, this can't be! Is there an extremely low supply of essential materials and stuff? Mm. The greedy, snobby-type capitalists are selling food at high prices just to make a quick buck? Mm. Uh, there. Okay, I give up. Tell me what happened. Sir, you'll see tomorrow morning. I, I can't explain in words. Too long of a story. Well, I can tell we're gonna have a good time. Howdy, everyone! Oh, shit. Hi, my name is. Identity unknown. You might know me because I'm the guy that created Blaze World. Yeah, I bust my ass in this show. And it's what I love to do when I get my thousand page English essays done. Say, do you want to know what happens behind the scenes in my studio? Then why'd you have to come in here? Oh, I know what you're here for. You want to know what happened to Generic Land the next morning. Well, Seth, you'll have to wait for part two to find out. Thanks for watching. Nah, just fucking around.
Enjoy the rest of the show. And remember to eat your vegetables. It's very important. Wake up and get ready for the today. Huh. That's weird. Usually my alarm clock yells me to wake up loud and proud. Not and not in that monotone robotic voice whatever. Eh, probably just a minor convenience. I put my alarm clock into a new battery or something. Hey Blade, I made breakfast again. I hope you like hash browns with a breakfast sausage burger. Oh, that's nice of you, Dio. No problem. What? Dio! What the hell happened to your face? Blade, what are you talking about? Did you get robot plastic surgery or something? Blade, I would never go to get mind face changes. You know I am very happiness about my lookings. And why are you speaking, Willie? Oh, wait, you always do that. And why do you sound so different? Do you have laryngitis or something? Dio, what are you talking about? I feel fine. And your eyes look really funny and weird, too. Why don't I take a look at this mirror? Dear, holy fuck. I look, I look like a cheap two-cent drawing a ten-year-old made during recess time. I'm sure I can help get your face fixed if you need it. Do you want your face fixed, Blade? Why wouldn't I? I look like I was made by two nerdy kids during middle school, you know? Wait, why are we in the bathroom? Alright, Blade. I used to work as an plastic surgeon for one week. Your old face will be back in no time. Alright, I have my tools ready. Keep calm, Blade. This may pinch a little. <laughs> and voila! You look like a million bucks! Work right over there. I think your new face makes you look cool. What the hell are you? You're a walking penis condom thingy! <laughs> now, Blade, I didn't fuck up your face for cheap laughs. <laughs> now I made you look cool! Come on, Kenny McCormick! We gotta show everybody a new look! And now, a word from our sponsor. Howdy, everyone! I just want to say, I get it. Inflation's been rough, so that's why my burgers are at record low prices before the inflating prices make a bounce house. Unfortunately, our cargo ship full of stuff got destroyed last week from stormy seas when we were about to get our yearly delivery of stuff. We have some delicious options right now. Unfortunately, meat supply is running low, so why not try our beef DNA alphabet soup? This delicious soup just cost a mere 20,000 generic land credit. If you really think it's delicious, then eat it. You were puking like crazy after you ate it. Bullshit, it tastes delicious! Here's our restaurant chef, Trent the Triangle. He's a 16 year old man going on his period. Just try it. Okay. One, two, three, go. Go. Never again. Hey, Stan. <laughs> yeah, we have scary faces indeed. But doesn't Blade look cool? I wanted to show you his new look. Wow! It's a walking penis kind of thingy. I know, that's what I said! I think you just might have created the laughing stock of generic land. <laughs> wow, I got my old face back. Hey Stan, Mr. Monkey wasn't able to talk to us about what the hell's going on, and we wanted to ask you why our price is right now so damn high. Oh, the yearly cargo ship full of stuff got destroyed because of stormy seas and bad weather. Wait, stormy seas? Seems a little suspicious. Oh really? Bad weather happens, Blade! I know it's frustrating to have your only supplier of basic needs get struck by lightning and sink, but shit happens! Boss, that's not what happened, that was a hoax. Some rich British guy hoarded all the supplies for himself. 
Wait, is that true? Yeah. Son of a bitch! Blade's actually right! That top hat bastard stole all of our basic needs! Ugh. Little does that circle person of color know that he's actually voracious. I just didn't want to make myself look like a tomfool at Bubblegum Bobs. Looks like we're devoted to be a tea. Oh, Butler! Yes? Can you conciliate my thirsty taste buds and get me another adequate vial of beer tea? I shall do that right now, sir. I'm sorry to say this, sir, but we're out of beer tea. That makes me feel very sullen. Oh dear, I say, it looks like Manchester United lost a soccer game. Wait, what? <sighs> I am so furious right now, I feel like I could commit a terrorist attack out of rage. You know what? I will. Oh dear, I say! <laughs> I have an idea! Dear, let's go to Mr. Monkey's. I have the perfect solution! Threats on campus. Threats on campus. Oh no! Not another environment! The hell you guys want? President, Shut up! I know how to handle vermin like these! Are you an armed? Yeah. Yeah, we're an armed. So Mr. Monkey, I think I figured out why we look so weird and cheap! Why? According to the budget law, lower amounts of money means more choppier movements. And we have no money because of the whole cargo ship ordeal. I think I have a way to save generic land. Okay. First off, I need you to raise national investment rates. And now, I am going to do something that will change everything back to normal. What? You'll see. Blade, you saved us all. How'd you do that? Well, it's simple. It may have cost me a kidney, a liver, a leg, and some blood, but I think losing some organs and a limb is for the better of generic land. You see, Dio, like time, prices go only one way, never the other. If we just raise investment rates, and maybe buy stuff with internal organs, we could save many lives. Well, good for you, Blade. The cargo ship is coming to the docks, wanna come? Yeah. Yeah. I love a happy ending. Yeah, me too. Waka 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 Oh boy, here we go again. Oh, he was a good kid. Yeah, I'll miss him too. Hey guys, what's shaking? Blade? You bastard. Did you stage your own death? No. Then why are you still here alive and well? What are you talking about? I did die. Then why are you still alive? Oh, simple answer, my friend. Status quo. What? <laughs> <laughs>